the idea of sustainability, I'm just going to go to that for a second. The idea of sustainability really begins to assist the design process. When you're talking about orientation, when you're talking about thermal mass, when you're talking about recycled materials, all of these fall within the umbrella of sustainability. Now, how can you use it in such a way so that it's not an engineering exercise, that it's more of an artistic exercise? That, I think, what, that's what good architecture is, is about. It's about uh, transcending the engineering exercise of sustainability, using the idea of sustainability, and creating spaces that are moving. Um, and just the whole sustainable movement helped me in that it's defined the design process a little bit better for me. How does it do that? I have to deal with a super insulated exterior envelope. I want to orient the building so that the sun comes in in the winter time when you want it and, and the sun is welcomed. In the summertime, you shade it so that you're not getting glaring sun in the summertime and overheating your spaces. How do you passively vent it? Cupolas, stair towers. How do you reuse materials? the recycled content on the exterior of the building for the metal siding, the timbers that were used in this freestanding superstructure for the stair was uh, a tree that was taken down at Barney's property because it was dying. Um, it was a large oak tree and we sawed it on the site on the main line and brought it out here and we created this superstructure that's independent of the building because green timber frame twists and turns. So we put it in front of the glass wall, but we didn't attach it to the glass wall. So it can be this kind of organic popping and you know it's almost this living organism in your house and the stair floats in that. So this whole kind of sustainable movement really helps to create spaces that are very comfortable to live in if done properly because you have the sun when you want it. You have clean, fresh air because you're not dealing with VOCs. You have walls that open up and let passive air come into it. Um, all of these things create a building that enhances your lifestyle. Go back to the stage, you know. The sustainability helps set a stage that is more conducive to a healthier lifestyle. And this building doesn't sit on top of a hill. This building is integrated into the hill. It's not like you took a piece of architecture and placed it on and it doesn't relate to the site. This building is, you carved out the hill, you've set this building into the hill. It's not on the land, it's of the land. And that speaks to the whole process of creating sustainable architecture and it speaks to the whole process of what it's like to live in a house like this. It's almost spiritual. It is. People come in and they talk about the house as soul. It's because you paid attention to the site. You paid attention to what it had to say. You open it up. It's like going back to your childhood when you used to play outside. We kind of forgot about that. This house reconnects you to nature. 